Good evening everyone. Marquette County had a few games going on tonight and one game in particular featured the undefeated Nagani Miners against the one loss Marquette Redmen. The Marquette faithful were out in full force tonight. How about second quarter? Miners up by nine, but here comes Alex Duvall to Mulatto to Ian OG and he knocks down the jumper. The Redmen trailed 20 to 13. Marquette cut the lead to four, but Nagani battles back. Brock Aho tosses down low to Trent Bell. He gets the basket and the foul. And the tensions, of course, were high in this one. It was a rivalry game. Dan Waterman trying to keep his team calm. Still in the second. Drew Dre Tuminen trying to find his man, and he finds his man, Brock Aho, who hits the reverse layup for two. 2016. 26 to 16 minors. Marquette stayed in striking distance. Two minute will miss. Joe Ostrowski with the rebound and heads up toss to Alex Duvall for the layup. He finished with 24 points. Marquette would hand the minors their first loss of the season, 57 to 53. Dre Tuminen did finish with 25 points in the loss. We head to the scoreboards. Menominee with a huge win, 72 to 27 over Stevenson. Norway would defeat North Dickinson, 56 to 47. Justin Ball scored 20 points for the Knights. And the Copper Country, Houghton defeats West Iron County, 55 to 42. George Butvillis scored 20 points, including five three-pointers. Houghton had 10 as a team. And Hancock would go on to defeat Jeffers, 60 to 52. Besmer defeated Berga 70-26, and Ontonagan grabbed a win over Lakeland and Hubble 59-49. Mitchell Borseth of Ontonagan did have 23 points, while the Lakes Lincoln Klein scored 28. Dollar Bay defeated Republic Michigami 70-64. Bark River Harris defeats Forest Park 67-52. Carney Nato defeated Munising 59-46. Hunter Eichhorn getting ready for golf season with a you know, mere 32 points for the Wolves. North Central with the win over Rapid River 75-42. The future Michigan Tech Husky Dawson Bilski scores 26 points for the Jets. Jason White records a double-double 14 points, 12 rebounds. And Mid-Peninsula defeated Big Bay to knock 57-51. Terry Brower had 19 points for the Wolverines, while Tyler Johnson scored 23 for the Black Bears. Two girls basketball where the Ishbing Hematites were hosting the Lance Purple Hornets. We pick up the action in the third. Chloe Scholholm finds Katie Lohman for two, but on the inbounds, it's going to be Cora Swanson who will get the steal and a layup. That's a quick four points for the Hematites. Swanson finished with 22. Lance on a bit of a drought. Alex, Alexis Francois with the miss. Mariah Bertucci on the long rebound, and she's going to go coast to coast for the Hematites and put them up 66 to 35. Lance would end their drought, though, in the fourth. Sarah Dix passes to Taylor Brown. She knocks down the triple. Lance would trail 66 to 38, but this one was all Hematites. Bertucci would pass out to Chloe Scholholm for the corner three. Ishpeming goes on to win 85 to 53. Madding and Johns finished with 24 points. Back to the scoreboards for girls high school basketball scores. Westwood defeats Iron Mountain 58 to 20. Ironwood grabs a win over South Shore 50 to 45. The Red Devils Taylor Miley had 30 points in the win. Great Northern Conference girls basketball night as the 6-3 Escanaba Eskimos has hosted the 6-2 Menominee Maroons in Escanaba. Eskimo band was getting everybody fired up. First quarter, Eskimos knocked the ball away. Taylor Gothier picks it up, makes a nice pass to Matty Toot for the layup. Escanaba was up 4-0. More defense from the Eskimos as Lexi Shaler gets the steal, drives, and she will score. Escanaba was up 8-0, which forced Menominee to call the timeout. Menominee would get on the board late as Morgan Roman gets the inbound pass. She dribbles to the left, passes to Sarah Barrett for the basket. Menominee was in within 9-4, but the Eskimos get the victory 61-41. Back to the scoreboards. Newberry, a big winner over Ingedine, 61-32. The Indians shot 25% from the field. Taylor Bryant had 26 points, 12 rebounds. Cedarville defeats Posen 57-20. Pickford, a 50-point winner over Pelston, 68-18. And Chassel with the win over Jeffers, 44-37. Let's head downstate where the St. Ignace Saints made the long drive to visit the Frankfurt Panthers in a rematch of a state semifinal from two years ago. Second half, Frankfurt regrouping after a slow start. Chelsea Ely with the finish in the paint. And then it would be Ely who sends it over to Peyton Brooks, who feeds it back quickly to Ely for the quick lay-in. The Panthers take the lead 34-33, but in the end, St. Ignace beats Frankfurt 65-54.